The black mamba has quite a reputation. It is one of the world's deadliest snakes. It is the fastest land snake in the world, and the longest species of venomous snake in Africa, and the second longest in the world. This snake's potential danger has been the subject of many African myths, and it has been blamed for thousands of human deaths. Black mambas are extremely toxic and very fast snakes. They are highly aggressive when threatened, known to strike repeatedly, and inject a large volume of venom with each strike. Their venom is potentially lethal and just two drops of venom can kill a human, and though antivenom exists, it is not widely available in the black mamba's native habitat of southern and eastern Africa. 9. A bite from a fertile lance can turn a person's body tissue black as it begins to die. These pit vipers, which live in Central and South America and are between 3.9 and 8.2 feet long and weigh up to 13 pounds, are responsible for about half of all snake bite venom poisonings in Central America. The venom of these snakes are complex mixes of toxins that attack the blood and cause hemorrhaging, edema, extreme pain and necrosis that can lead to cardiovascular shock and kidney failure. Eight. The boomslang, which can be found throughout Africa, is one of the most venomous of the so-called rear fang snakes. Such snakes can fold their fangs back into their mouths when not in use. As in other deadly snakes, this one has hematoxic venom that causes their victims to bleed out internally and externally. Death from a boomslang bite can be gruesome. Victims suffer extensive muscle and brain hemorrhaging. And on top of that, blood will start seeping out of every possible exit, including the gums and nostrils, and even the tiniest of cuts. Blood will also start passing through the body via the victim's stools, urine, saliva, and vomit until they die. Luckily, there is antivenom for the boomslang if a victim can get it in time. Seven. The eastern tiger snake is ranked among the world's top 15 most venomous and deadly snakes. This reptile is found in the mountain ranges and coastal areas of Australia. This snake earned its name from the tiger-like specks and patterns all over their bodies. But this does not mean all of them have the same tiger-like pattern. In fact, there have been reports of some eastern tiger snakes with no patterns. This can make identifying some tiger snakes difficult. The average eastern tiger snake is about 3 to 4 feet long. Although they are land-dwelling creatures, they spend a lot of time in the water and are phenomenal swimmers. The snake's often aggressive defense and toxic venom make it extremely dangerous to humans. A tiger snake will put on an impressive threat display by holding its forebody in a tense, loose curve with the head slightly raised and pointed at the offender. It will hiss loudly as it inflates and deflates its body, and if provoked further will lash out and bite forcefully. The venom of the tiger snake is strongly neurotoxic and coagulant. Six. The Russell's viper is a poisonous snake. The species bears the name Patrick Russell in honor of the Scottish herpetologist who initially documented many of the snakes found in India. This snake is known as Chandraborha in Bengali because of the lenticular or, more specifically, lunar markings that cover its entire body. Russell's viper is not just one of India's big four snakes, but it is also the venomous snake that results in the most deaths and snake bite incidences. These snakes have three series of dark brown patches running the length of their bodies. They have a rich yellow, tan, or brown tint. Each of these dots has a black ring surrounding it, with a white or yellow rim highlighting the outside edge. The snake's venom can lead to an awful smorgasbord of symptoms, acute kidney failure, severe bleeding and multi-organ damage. Saw-scaled vipers are found in the dry regions of Africa, the Middle East, India, Sri Lanka and Pakistan. They have a characteristic threat display, rubbing sections of their body together to produce a sizzling warning sound. Like all vipers, they are venomous and are responsible for causing the most snake bite cases and deaths in the world. This snake's venom consists mostly of four types of toxins, neurotoxins, cardiotoxins, hematoxins, and cytotoxins. Their venom contains factors that can cause a consumption coagulopathy and defibrination which may persist for days to weeks. This may result in bleeding anywhere in the body, including the possibility of an intracranial hemorrhage. Four. The banded crate is easily identified by its alternate black and yellow crossbands all of which encircle the body. It is found on the Indian subcontinent, in Southeast Asia, and in Southern China and is the largest species of crates, with a maximum length up to 8 feet. Although the banded crate is venomous and its bite may be deadly to humans, it is shy, primarily nocturnal and not particularly aggressive so its overall risk to humans is low. 
When harassed, they will usually hide their heads under their coils and do not generally attempt to bite, though at night they are much more active and widely considered to be more dangerous. The venom of the banded crate mainly contains neurotoxins. The major clinical effects caused by the venom of this species include vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and dizziness. Severe envenomation can lead to respiratory failure and death may occur due to suffocation. Three. The king cobra is native to jungles in southern and southeast Asia and is the world's longest venomous snake, with an average length of 10 to 13 feet, reaching a maximum of 19 feet. It preys chiefly on other snakes, including its own species. Unlike other snakes, it rarely hunts other vertebrates, such as rodents and lizards. Like most cobras and mambas, the king cobra's threat display includes spreading its neck flap, raising its head upright, puffing, and hissing. Despite its fearsome reputation, the king cobra avoids confrontation with humans whenever possible. When provoked, however, it is capable of striking a target at long range and well above the ground. Rather than biting and retreating, it may sustain its bite and inject a large quantity of venom. The king cobra's venom consists of cytotoxins and neurotoxins, including alpha neurotoxins and three-finger toxins. Other components have cardiotoxic effects. The toxins affect the victim's central nervous system, resulting in severe pain, blurred vision, vertigo, drowsiness, and eventually paralysis. If the envenomation is serious, it progresses to cardiovascular collapse and the victim falls into a coma. Death soon follows due to respiratory failure. Two. The coastal tapan is often regarded as the most dangerous snake in Australia. They are extremely nervous and alert snakes, and any movement near them is likely to trigger an attack. Like any snake, the tapan prefers to avoid conflict and will quietly slip away if given the chance. However, if surprised or cornered, it will ferociously defend itself. When threatened, the coastal tapan adopts a loose striking stance with its head and forebody raised. Invariably, the snake will strike, often without any warning, inflicting multiple snapping bites with extreme accuracy and efficiency. The muscular lightweight body of the tapan allows it to hurl itself forwards or sideways and reach high off the ground and such is the speed of the attack that a person may be bitten several times before realizing the snake is there. When the coastal tapen strikes it injects a large amount of highly toxic venom deep into the flesh, and studies have shown they are capable of injecting the same amount in a second or third bite. The venom affects the nervous system and the blood's ability to clot, and victims may experience headache, nausea, vomiting, collapse, convulsions, paralysis, internal bleeding, myolysis, and kidney damage. The onset of serious symptoms is often rapid, so anyone suspected of receiving a bite must seek medical attention immediately. One. This brings us to the number one deadliest snake in the world, the Inland Taipan, also commonly known as the Western Taipan. The small-scaled snake or the fierce snake is a species of extremely venomous snake. The species is endemic to semi-arid regions of Central East Australia. Based on the median lethal dose value in mice, the venom of the inland taipan is by far the most toxic of any snake, much more so than even that of sea snakes and it has the most toxic venom of any reptile when tested on human heart cell culture. The inland taipan is a specialist hunter of mammals, so its venom is specially adapted to kill warm-blooded species. It is estimated that one bite possesses enough lethality to kill at least 100 fully grown humans. It is an extremely fast and agile snake that can strike instantly with extreme accuracy, often striking multiple times in the same attack, and it envenomates in almost every case. Because it lives in such remote locations, the inland taipan seldom comes in contact with people. Therefore, it is not considered the deadliest snake in the world overall, especially in terms of disposition and human deaths per year. The word fierce from its alternative name describes its venom, not its temperament. If bitten by the inland taipan, the mortality rate is high in untreated cases. Clinically, envenomation may represent a complex scenario of multiple organ system poisoning with neurotoxic symptoms. The first local and general symptoms of a bite are local pain and variable non-specific effects which may include headache, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, dizziness, collapse, or convulsions leading to major organ effects, neurotoxicity, coagulopathy, rhabdomyolysis, or kidney failure, damage, and finally death. The venom can act so fast, it can kill a person within about 45 minutes. The venom also contains a potent hematoxin, a prothrombin activator that leads to the consumption of major coagulation factors including fibrinogen, leading to interference with blood clotting. This causes defibrination, 
with non-clottable blood, putting victims at risk of major bleeding from the bite site and can lead to more serious, sometimes fatal, internal hemorrhaging, especially in the brain. Type in snake venom does contain myotoxins that cause myolysis. The urine of a bite victim often turns reddish-brown as their muscles dissolve and are passed through the kidneys. The kidneys are often badly damaged by filtering so much tissue debris out of the blood, and kidney failure is a common complication in serious cases where there is significant envenoming. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video.